This video is about the process of disinfection of water with chlorine, the advantages and disadvantages of the process and the reactions involved. Water disinfection is of great importance to avoid waterborne disease transmission with the removal of pathogenic microorganisms. Gastroenteritis, polio, amoebic dysentery, cholera, schistosomiasis are examples of waterborne diseases. In the chlorination process, highly oxidizing chlorinated compounds, such as chlorine gas, hypochlorous acid, sodium hypochlorite, are added to water. The goals of chlorination in water treatment are to disinfect the water, to oxidize inorganic matter, and to oxidize the organic materials present. In the disinfection process with chlorine, its diffusion occurs through the cell wall, followed by action on vital elements inside the cell, such as enzymes, proteins, DNA, and RNA. Concern about disease transmission through the water has been around for a long time and made the Egyptians begin to use aluminum sulfate to clarify water, in 2000 BC. In addition, the water was exposed to the sun and filtered through charcoal. The use of boiling over a fire, heating in the sun, or the introduction of an iron bar heated in water followed by filtration was described by ancient peoples. A health administration system was created between 27 BC and 14 AD, in Rome, during the Empire of Augustus. The crumbling of Greco-Roman civilization by the barbarians, in the Middle Ages, caused a decline in the process of public health. Two great epidemics occurred in this period and there was a low consumption of water by the population and reduced possibilities of bath harming the health of the population. An outbreak of cholera occurred in 1854, in London. This outbreak caused a large number of deaths in a short time and caused panic in the local population. The transmission of the disease by water contamination was observed by the Dr. John Snow. The doctor immediately suspected the inappropriate use of the water and polluted water. In 1855, it was observed that the death rates from typhus and diarrhea in the southern districts of London were much higher than the death rates in the northern districts of the Thames. Changes in the water supply caused an alteration in the rates of mortality that became lower in the southern districts than in the northern ones. Cholera outbreaks were important for the implementation of systems water supply in cities across the world. The first health conference took place in Paris, in L85L, with the definition of measures to control cholera and yellow fever. In 1921, the League of Hygiene Organization of Nations and on April 7, 1948, the World Health Organization was founded. The amount of chlorine needed in the disinfection process or chlorine demand depends on a few factors such as the levels of reducing compounds in water, organic and inorganic compounds, chlorine required to achieve desired disinfection results, and contact time needed to get the desired effects. The consumption of chlorine in pre-chlorination, or at the beginning of water treatment, is higher than in post-chlorination, or at the final steps, since it will be spent to oxidize organic and inorganic compounds, and the presence of impurities is higher at the beginning of the water treatment. When the content of iron and hydrogen sulfide is greater than 1 ppm, aeration must be carried out beforehand, to reduce the consumption of chlorine. After water treatment, the free residual chlorine content, hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion, must be between 0.5 and 1 ppm to prevent further contamination of water along the water route to consumers. Knowing the active chlorine content that remains after the chlorination of the water allows guaranteeing its microbiological quality. After disinfection, the water must contain the minimum content of free residual chlorine. During the chlorination process, chlorine will react with water with the formation of hypochlorous acid and hydrochloric acid, which will be completely dissociated in dilute aqueous solutions. Hypochlorous acid, being a weak acid, will dissociate according to its equilibrium constant, 
and the concentrations of chlorine species will be a function of pH. Hypochlorous acid dissociates originating hypochlorite ion. For pH values below 7.5, there is a predominance of hypochlorous acid, while for pH values above 7.5, hypochlorite ion is the dominant species. The amount of hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion is called residual free chlorine. In disinfection, pH is important for the efficiency of the process, as hypochlorous acid is a disinfectant 40 to 80 times more effective than hypochlorite ion. Chlorine added to water is consumed by the numerous constituents present or by decomposition. The difference between chlorine dosage and residual chlorine is called chlorine demand. The chlorine demand is caused by reactions promoted by ultraviolet light, reactions with inorganic compounds, reactions with organic compounds, containing unsaturated bonds that react to form chlorinated organic molecules, reactions with ammonia to form chloramines. Among the reactions mentioned, the most important is the reaction of chlorine with ammonia, forming chloramines. The formation of chloramines can be described by the following reactions. Ammonium ion and hypochlorous acid will originate monochloramine. Monochloramine will react with hypochlorous acid with the formation of dichloramine. Dichloramine will react with hypochlorous acid with the formation of trichloramine. The three compounds formed, monochloramine, dichloramine, and trichloramine are called combined residual chlorine. Together with the free residual chlorine, they make up the total residual chlorine in the water. Some advantages of chlorination are that it is efficient in eliminating pathogenic microorganisms in water. It has a low cost. It does not pose a risk to human health, provided it is used correctly. The presence of residual chlorine in the water prevents further contamination. Some disadvantages of chlorination are that it can cause irritation, allergy, and odors. It can originate carcinogenic chemicals such as chloramines. It can be up to 3,125 times slower than ozone in cell inactivation. If you liked the video, leave your like and don't forget to subscribe.